hello guys welcome back to my channel and yeah it's my face i know this looks a little bit different from what i normally do but i came up with this idea because i'm studying for step one as you can see below study with me for the us mle step one and avoid the mistakes i made so i came up with this idea because um i'm studying for step one and i know a lot of people that are also studying for the exam that want to study for the exam that don't know if they should write the exam so um and i i have had people come to me and ask me how i'm studying how i passed my mdme and you know all those questions you know i've had people that need i have people that need help with studying for this exam and i know a lot of people that might not have as much information as I do about the exam. So since I have this platform, I decided why not? Why don't I, you know, share my experiences so I can help someone else? You know, I might not know who I'm helping, but I know this is going to be a huge help to a lot of people. So yeah, since I'm studying for it for the exam, why not? So I'm just going to I'm just going to shortly introduce myself. Um, my Caribbean medical journey started in 2015, February of 2015, and I started in PM. I went from PM1, I climbed up to MD, and then MD5, then I wrote the MBME, and yay! I got above a 70, and I was really excited, so I just went out and registered for my step one. So I did that pretty early, immediately after my MBME, and initially I registered for October. So looking back now, I think I, I registered too early. Um, I think I didn't consider that there are factors that I might not be able to control that might prevent me from writing at that particular date. And I didn't look at all the factors I had. Like I didn't critically analyze everything I had before me so definitely if you're planning to register for the exam don't register too early there's no rush you can register at any time any place I mean you just need internet connection and some without like a thousand bucks so if you have that you can register any time in the year so don't feel like you need to register too early or you need to rush registration there's no rush in registering for the exam i i mean don't don't make the mistake i made on my own part registering for the exam helps me to you know keep studying for the exam you know but with the delay that happened after i registered i had to shift my date to december and now I don't know if I can even write it in December because that delay is still very, very, very alive. So I don't know. I might even have to extend my eligibility period, which I have to pay for. So definitely, if if you're not sure of too many factors, don't rush registering for the exam. I mean, as a foreign medical student, you have to be sure that you have a visa to go write the exam. You have to be sure that... Um, you have um, a good passport that your passport is not damaged in any way that your passport is not about to expire that you have the um, visa of the place where you're staying which is the Caribbean or I don't know any other place so you have to make sure that those visas and your passport is not expired and they are in good condition so you have to make sure that a lot of factors are very much balanced and in the right condition so that you can go and apply for a visa um yeah so that's it that's it so right now because of the delay i decided to start my clinical rotations uh, i started my clinical rotations i think in um i think i started in june june 16th because i i was feeling a little bit depressed after what happened and i i i i, I knew that starting clinical rotations will help me stop thinking about it and it will help me keep on studying so i started clinical rotations so what i do now is from the hospital i go to the library or i come to school and sit down in a class and study till evening then i go home and it's really cool because um we don't normally spend a long time in the hospital 
the highest I've spent in the hospital is um, four hours. I think mostly because of the rotations I picked for now. Um, I started with rotations that are not very stressful, that don't demand a lot of time from students. So I started with those ones. And so I have um, a lot of time after the rotations to go study as much as I want to. So when I get home, I might spend another two hours studying. I, I don't really study at home, to be honest, but I try maybe an hour extra studying, then I go to sleep. So um, approximately, I think I'm able to get like seven hours of studying every day, which is good for me. If, like, if I'm able to focus in a day, I'm able to get a real, real, real good amount of studying. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. And um, so one mistake I think I made is registering too early. So, as I said, you want to make sure that all the external factors you can't control are in good condition, at least, before you register, before you register for the exam. So you don't have to keep postponing your date. And so you don't have to extend your eligibility period because there's a price you have to pay to extend that period yeah so um what else so i wrote mbme in february okay i've said that already um yeah so if you have questions if you have um if you like what i'm doing of course i'm not totally stopping the animation if you still want to see the animation just tell me in the comment below if you like what i'm doing now give me a thumbs up say in the comment below write questions that you want to have answered and I'm here, I'm going to answer all your questions I can answer. And even if I don't have an answer, I'm going to direct you to someone that might be able to help you. And um, just stay tuned to the channel. Uh, if you want to see the animations, just leave a comment below. My plan was to do animations once in a week and do this step one review once in a week. If you like the idea, give me a thumbs up. And you know, just give me some love so I know I'm doing something that is appreciated and something that is benefiting you guys so um the other thing i wanted to say is uh, i want to talk about resources i'm using right now to study for the step one i'm using um us mle rx for now i'm using their question bank and their flashcards i don't really watch the videos because i already gone through that when i was studying for mbme so um before I started doing questions concrete, like doing questions, I had already completed um, the fundamentals. I had gone through the videos, all the videos possible. I had read test books, and I really did read test books when I was in MD. Most times I read test books. I didn't even have first aid, so that was probably a mistake. If you're in MD1, you want to get first aid and make sure that you're studying along with first aid so that first aid becomes like very very familiar to you so i know that in md throughout my md i used test books i used brs especially for physio then um yeah i used test books and i read my slides so yeah um for now for now, what I'm using is um, the RX. RX is really cool because it comes with videos, it comes with um, flashcards, and it has questions. But I just use the flashcards and questions. And it's really, really cool because it integrates first aid into the corrections. And you can even see from the questions that all they are trying to do is making sure that you have mastered first aid. So it's a good way to master first aid. I mean, it's better than going through first aid page by page because I find it really, I find it very hard going through first aid page by page. But RX really helps because they have flashcards. You can go through first aid in a more active form that helps the information stay longer in your head. So yeah, if you have if you have questions concerning the step one exam, if you have questions concerning the MBME. Whatever you have that you think I might be able to answer, leave in the comment below. And if you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on all this good stuff I'm going to be talking about. So yeah, we are, help we are here to help each other. I'm definitely here to help you because um, 
during my time, during even when I was registering for the exam, it was very hard for me because uh, I didn't know who to go to to help me with the registration. And I just thought that it was something I couldn't do on my own, but I was able to do it. So you can all do it. So I'm here to help as much as I can. You know, it's really hard, especially for the small schools in the Caribbean that a lot of information might not be circulating around. So I'm here to help you. If you have any questions, if you need any help with the exam, I'm definitely here. And you know, um, I was just thinking, right? Uh, I always like when I started preparing for the step one, I always used to go around to ask people, have you, have you written the exam? What helped you? What didn't help you? You know, what is your own advice for me? And I realized that sometimes, I don't know. It was almost like they had forgotten everything about their exam. So I don't want that to happen to me. I want to be able to reference people to somewhere they can go to that might help them on how I studied for the exam. Especially if I end up getting a very good score, right? So that's why I created this platform. This is going to be in a different in a different playlist. So yeah. Um so if someone asks me after my exam, how did you study? I'll just refer the person to my YouTube page, you know. So I'm going to be taking you through exactly what I'm doing to study. So that when the result comes out and you see my score, you'll know if you want to do the same things I did or <laughs> you want to do better. I don't know. So, yeah. So I'm going to be keeping you very, very, I'm going to be very transparent with how I'm studying and everything. And so I, I really want to help you. And I want to encourage you that you can do this exam, you can write it. If you're feeling you need to be discouraged, leave it in the comments below. If you need whatever you need me to talk about, just leave it in the comment below and I'll be here to help you. So it's bye-bye for now and um, have a blessed week.